Hi friends, now we start with the next module which is based on the partition values and quartiles. Objectives of learning the partition values. Now how do we apply the concept of partition values in business and let us understand this concept with an example. Now a certain company is interested in allotting a distributor's ship for a certain area from shortlisted applicants. The company is interested in allotting a distributorship to the 10% of these applicants on the basis of their annual turnover. Now applications are received by the company. So the company is interested in a selection criterion for allotting a distributorship. Now which selection procedures can be more appropriate? Can we select those distributor at random? Of course, will the selection be fair? No, always. The company decides to arrange the annual turnover of all the applicants in descending order and scrutinize, carries out the scrutiny for the first 10% of the applicants. Now the company can allot a distributorship to these applicants. This procedure of selecting the distributors divide the shortlisted applicants in the two parts, the top 10% and the remaining 90%. So, my dear student, in general, it may be necessary to divide the data into required number of equal parts depending upon the situation. The values which divide the ordered observations into number of equal parts are called partition values. Now, one point divide data into two equal parts and two points divide the data into three equal parts. Three points divide the data into four equal parts. On these points, all these points are called as a partition values. Now, my dear student, we are going to learn quartiles as one of the partition value. So, quartiles divide the total number of observations into four equal parts when the observations are arranged in the ascending order of their magnitudes. And if you consider the point, that is first point, each part contains the 25% of the total observations. There are three quartiles, that is Q1, Q2 and Q3. The third important points, Q1 represent the 25% of the observations are less and the 75% of the total observations are more. Q2 represents the 50% of the observations are less and the 50% of the observations are more. And the next important points that Q3 represent the 75% observations are less and the 25% of the total observations are more. Next important points that Q1 is nothing but a first quartile, Q2 is called as a median or a second quartile, Q3 is called as a upper quartile. Q1 is less than equal to Q2 is less than equal to Q3. Method to find the quartiles for the individual data, the step 1, arrange the given observation in ascending order, step 2, n equal to number of observation, step 3, that is formula, that is qi equal to i in bracket n plus 1 upon fourth term, where i equal to 1, 2, 3. So q1, so i is replaced by 1, that is nothing but a rank of q1, q2, so where i is replaced by 2, so that is nothing called as a rank of q2, and q3 is nothing but i is replaced by 3, so that is called rank of q3.